Okay, so let's take a look at the WebRTC API trace. As we said before, it contains the historical set of events that happen when establishing a call. We can see that we have a bunch of these events ordered in a chronological fashion. Let's review the most important ones. The first one is the create offer, which represents the call that we made to the create offer function of the peer connection. The next thing our application did was create the local data channel, which was created with the label that we set and with some other default values. After that, we see the result of calling the create offer function, which is the actual offer in the SDP format. This contains all the information that we're gonna send to the other peer. After that, we take that exact same SDP and set it as the local description of this current peer. The next thing that happened is that the signaling changed to the have local offer state. These are some internal states that the peer connections manage. And another state that also changed is the ice gathering process, which begins to gather. There are two types of ICE candidates in here. We have the host type and the server reflexive. The host ICE candidates represent local candidates that use a local IP address and a local port. The server reflexives are external that are, get, that are get from stern servers. There is another type of ICE candidate and is the relay ICE candidate. This is the one that is used when the direct connection is not possible and hence the media must travel through a turn server. In this case, as we are not using a turn server, we won't get any relay ICE candidate. After this happened, we can see that we have a set remote description event. This means that we just got an answer for the other peer and such answer is shown here, also in the SDP format. Now, there's only one thing missing and is to receive the ICE candidates from the remote peer, thing that happens right below. And here we can see that we get two ICE candidates from the other peer. And now that we have them, we are ready to establish the connection peer to peer. So that's pretty much what happens before establishing a WebRTC call. Now let's take a look at the stats. So when you're ready, move to the next lesson.